Hey guys, um, I'm Tonja Iceworth, as you can probably see up there. Um, yeah, this is my friend and one of my clubmates, Christina. She also has a YouTube channel. Go check it out. It's Sky Plays without any spaces. Um, it's not any of the usual ones. Her, um, her picture is a dragon with butterfly wings. Um, and we are going to be, um, yeah, we're going to be hanging out today and I'm going to be talking about some things. She can't hear me, unfortunately, but, um, yeah, um, this is my starter horse, Jade Wind. Doesn't she look lovely? <laughs> Um, and Chris, this is Christina's Yorvik Wild Horse, who I can't remember the name, so I'm gonna look at it's Flame Star. Um, and we are going to go do some stuff together. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about a theory that I had since we're in Moreland. So let's. Um, so for all of you Star Stable players um, who haven't gotten a Star membership, um, there is a certain quest that you can complete that, sorry I'm just making sure, um, um, so that for you guys who haven't, yeah, for you guys who haven't gotten a Star Stable membership, there is um, a line of quests that you can do that revolve around Tan's birthday. Um, and then after that, you can get the Elite track, which is over here in Sophia. And then you can take some pictures of the course for Tan eventually. Um, Of course, that's a daily quest, and I've already done it. Um, just letting Christina know where I am. Um, but so, f and for those of you guys who don't know what the Elite Track is, um, I'll probably run it later with Christina when we get back down from Nilmer's. But um, what it is is essentially it's the backwards of the um, Moreland Track since you guys know that one. Now, there are pictures taken for both of those, um, both the Moreland track and the Elite track. And then when you go up here to what looks like it's gonna be the wild Wilderness track, um, I'm gonna show you something. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I like being like, really nice to my friends. Um, so I'm like never mean to them. So like I always ask for stuff. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go up here like you know there and there you're gonna get pictures. You're gonna get um, eventually you're gonna get a quest for you know pictures to come up here and there will be orange spots and there will be a camera in your inventory and whatever, and you'll come up here, um, and, and you'll get over here, and it looks like it's going to be the wild, tr the wilderness track, um, and all of a sudden, you take the next picture, and it doesn't go that way, it actually goes up here, um, my theory, oh, there's you address, I really don't like that guy. Anyways, my theory is that there is a race that you can actually complete over here. Um, that we're going to get later, though. Not from Loretta, because the Moreland track is from Tan, and then we got the, um, we got the other one from Sophia. So it's not going to be from Loretta, but it's going to be from someone else. So, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Um, 
And if there are any older, like, if there are any higher level Star Stable players, would you mind telling me, like, in the comments? That would be great. Um, um, yeah, just that would be really cool if you could tell me. Um, I think we're going to go race the Elite track now. Guys, this is really short because um, Christina didn't want to do the Elite track, but I will show you, um, for showing sake, what the Elite track looks like. Um, so this is what it is. Just for you can have future reference. Um, yeah. I'm so happy everyone can jump now. <laughs> yeah, and you and the way that the pictures work is that you'll get them um you'll get them in the way you'll get them uh, where you have to take them the way that the track goes. Dang it. Um, so like you'll know you're doing the elite track if you um, get it going backwards. That wasn't my best time, but that is the way that it goes. Let me just check with Christina. Um, So, okay, so I guess we won't. Um, so then we, um, yeah, so then another thing about me, um, I have a pay once membership. I don't buy star coins because I think that's pretty pointless. Um, let's see what else. Oh, so, um, I'm not a horse rider myself in real life, but I love this game because I absolutely adore horses. Um, like, I cannot get over them. They are, like, the most awesome animal ever, in my opinion. Um, which is why I read up on, like, bridles. Um, and these round things that signify that it's a bit. Um, um, and I... I don't know. I really don't like bits. For for Jade. Um, for Jade, it's all right. By the way, Jade's a mare. Um, I've decided that she is officially a mare. Um, I mean, like for Jade Wind, it just looks weird if I take it off and start riding without it, especially with all the tack on. Um, Um, but, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna show you Steve's race for you non-star riders, but, and this will just give me time to talk about this, oof, but, um, yep, bridles are, okay, bridles are fine as long as they don't have bits, in my opinion, um, I absolutely hate bits. They're quite literally torture for the horse. Um, I've seen videos on this and stuff, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about bits in the comment section below. And if you if you are a player, if you are a star right, as SSO player, 
um, and you don't ride with the bridle, send me a picture. I love to see those because we need to get SSO to change because um, the really the world of horse riders, like everybody's opinion on bridles has changed um, bits has changed um, from they help us control the horse to they're hurting the horse and make them more uncontrollable. Literally, um, some side effects of bits are that the horse will um, refuse to do some of the things that it's told because there's too much pain. Um, and they're trying, just trying to alleviate it. And uh, I don't think that's cool that they do that to horses. So honestly, Star, Star Stable, in my opinion, like really needs to get some ropeless halters or some, shoot, I almost missed that one, um, or some bitless bridles or something that so that we don't have to like hurt our horses. Because our Yorvik Warmbloods are supposed to be our sole horses and I know I haven't played this quite long enough to be able to tell you the entire storyline and neither should I. But you can go watch that. But yes, they're supposed to be our sole horses. Um, and if we just cause like pain to them, then there's literally no point. I mean, Alex does it. Um, Alex does it to her horse, Tin Can. And I don't know. Um, so that's my opinion. Tell me that, tell me what you guys think about bits in the comment section below. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I love to hear opinions. Um, and if they have like a really good, um, if you have like a really good, really, really good idea about it, I may or may not change my mind. Um, Do I will probably give some shout outs to um to people if they tell me Ah uh, shoot no I don't like changing my horse's mane. I'm sorry, that's the other thing I don't like is changing the horse's mane. Um And, um, um, give me a second. Oh, so let me explain my inventory a little bit. Um, I have all of my racing tack, which is the Nestor armor gear stuff. Um, Um, and another friend's coming as well. Okay. Okay. Um, and I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and one thing you'll notice I do is I take off the armor, like, as soon as I'm done racing. I mean, no offense to, like, Bethany Sparrow Spark or any other, like, people who do that. Like, she's one of my friends. Like, I actually really like her. Um, but, like, it's no offense meant to those people. I just think that, like my stuff looks cooler in a way um and slightly more casual and that's i'm a stats person so like that i don't know it's like really super nice for some reason to me um um to be able to have this the other the middle one Um, the middle section is all of my dressage stuff, and then so is this, and it's a little, like, black. It's, like, really, really black. Um, 
so yeah, that's Catherine. Um, she was, funnily enough, part of my old club that um, got torn apart, unfortunately. But she was one of my friends before then. Um, so she's cool, super cool, and we created a new club together with some of our other friends from the club. Um, and yeah. So, oh, and this is for Onyx. He's my Yorvik pony. I only have three horses because I save up all my star coins. I don't buy them. Um, um yeah, I'm going to see if they want to go to horse, the horse market because that is the next place. Um, because I want to see what you guys think. Um, I want to see what you guys think about my next horse, because I may or may not, you see I only have like 496 star coins, so I may or may not get a new horse by Monday, but that kind of depends, because I'm gone on Saturday, and I get my allowance, um, but that kind of depends on what you guys think. Um, um, I don't know. Oh good, that isn't a western bridal. I almost thought it was. Um, so cat's really cool. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I have two different types of horses that I want to see um, in my stable. Both of them will get there eventually. Um, I just need to know which one to pick up sooner. Because uh, one is like 580 something star coins, and the other one is like 789 star coins. Um, and yeah. Um, Oh, and the reason I'm writing to Fort Pinta is because that, that trapdoor, um, um, because there's a ton of lore, there's like a ton of story behind Jorvik and the world of Star Stable and people have created theories about it like all the time um including about like these trap doors um and I'm curious if you guys want to see any of that lore because I will always like tell you who um I will always tell you who originally thought of the idea um, but I think it would be cool to, like, have it summarized, um, here in these videos. I don't know, whatever you guys want, I guess. Um, I think it would be kind of cool. I don't know, tell me what you think I should do in the comments below. And if you do think I should do some of those uh, theories, then I will start with the trapdoors because I think the theories behind those are really super interesting. Um, oh my gosh. I am so lucky this has happened like twice in a day. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, the fairy is like immediately here. This happened like once before, but not often. Um, 
it's not super often that this happens to me. But anyways, if you guys want the lore and the theories behind what's in the trapdoor, um, that'll be our first thing. And I'll just explain it as I'm like writing around, um, as I'm like writing around Jorvik. But um, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any theories um, or links to videos that have theories or theories that you want me to look up, um, just let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Yeah. But first, I want to get your opinion, your guys' opinion on the horse I should buy. So one of them is a North Swedish in Vale Vale, which I'll show you after this one. But um, this first one that I'm going to show you is an Andalusian. Um, absolutely gorgeous breed of horses, in my opinion. Um, and I think I like this one that I want to buy is like really pretty. And it only costs like 500 and something star coins, which is why I need to know which one I should buy first. Um, but like I can't decide, like my heart's torn. Um, and if you guys could let me know in the comments below, that would be great. Um, by Monday, if you could. Um, <clears throat> Sorry. Um... Yeah, if you could let me know, that would be great by Monday. And I will be checking. Um, yeah, that would be super cool. Um, <laughs> okay, so the first one is over here at the horse market. Um, and on the database that I looked it up on, it says it's in Silverglade, but it's really not. I mean, not Silverglade, um, the Equestrian Center. So the first one is this gorgeous looking girl over here, Andalusian, 400 and, sorry, 589 star coins. Um, if it was 489, I would totally get it today. Um, but it's not, and I need to get it by Wednesday, unless I want to wait, wait another two weeks, which I would have to anyways for the North Swedish horse. But I just think she's gorgeous. Like, okay. So, yeah, that's her, and I'll probably call her Mist something. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I accidentally got off when I meant to rear. Um. Yeah, so like I said, I'll be gone on Saturday, which is why I need it by Monday. Um, and I don't know, I think she's gorgeous. Um, I mean, I mean, look at her. I would call her Mist something because she reminds me of Mist. And I try and find names that, like, fit my horse's personality. Um, oh, and I'm going to show you guys what they did on the update. Not the second page, not the third page, but the fourth page is they made it all starter ponies. I mean, not starter ponies, just Jorvik ponies. Um, so for all of you older um, riders, every single pony that they used to have on the barge now lives at the horse market. Um, and I think they're all super pretty, but my favorite one and the one that 
the model that Onyx is, is, um, that's a lot of is, is, is this black one here in the middle. I absolutely adore this Jorvik pony. Um, I don't know. And Onyx has this, like, black and white theme, um, to him. Onyx is a Stally. Stally. Um, um, and I also have Spirit, who's pretty obviously a Stally. Um, But, I don't know, I think they're all, like, super gorgeous. Um, I like them much better than the Yervik starter ponies. The starter ponies are just, like, super duper chubby. And I'm not sure I like that very much. Um, sorry, we're waiting for um, Christina here. Um, I don't know. Oh, what kind of horse are you? Sorry, this is my thing, is I just, like, look at what kind of horses people have. And, like, see, there I can see... Oh, American Paint. Not bad. There I can see they've bought Star Clients. Because I am level 16 and I only have three. Um, oh, sorry, I also really, really like this boat, this horse that Christina has here. Um, I think it's, like, super gorgeous. It's one of the wild horses. Um. Um, it's colors, it's probably my favorite model of the wild horse, um, and I know this video is going, like, super long, but, um, yeah, you have no many, you have no idea how many times I've used this trailer, um, and there is a specific reason why I am not going to use star coins. It's because I'm saving up for the horses and that means not using star coins ever except I've accidentally used them once um, and I severely regret that. Um, And oh my gosh, just look at that horse. Um, um, and so, yeah, across the Silver Song, um, you know, the Silver Song River, there's a bunch of horses that you can buy, but my favorite by far has to be one of the North Swedish horses, um, right here, this one, this brown-ish North Swedish horse, brown, like, sort of with hints of red in it, it almost looks like it's got a velvety coat, anyways, um, this is the other option, this one can tolerate cold, which is nice when you get to, um, the Valley of the Hidden Dino, because all of your horses essentially just stay in this the entire time. Um, yeah, which is really annoying. Um, so I don't know. Which do you guys like better? Um, let me know in the comments section below. Um, also, don't forget, 
um, older writers, is there another track up by the wilderness track? And um, everybody, would you guys like me to uh, talk about some lore and theories, um, you know, just while I'm walking around Jorvik um, on my horse? Um, and next time you guys will get to meet Onyx, um, which will be super cool, too. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments section below. Again, huge shout out to Christina Armpark. If you want to go check out her YouTube channel, it's Sky Park, uh, Sky Plays, sorry, with no spaces, um, and her icon says there are a lot of sky plays, is a dragon with butterfly wings, and a big, a huge shout out to Catherine Cat Talon, who also, um, who was also part of this video, um, we're all in the same club, Golden Warrior Circle, uh, if you want to mail me on Cookie Canyon server, that's cool, thanks guys, see you later!